If you can boost nitric oxide in your body, you can improve your performance in both the bedroom and the gym. And today we're going to talk about how we can do this naturally. Here's how nitric oxide works. It's released by the inner layer of the cells of the blood vessels, relaxing them and keeps them flexible, allowing them to enlarge, increasing blood flow, helping to control blood pressure. It also has an anti-inflammatory effect and reduces the risk of plaque development. Without good nitric oxide production, we run the risk of high blood pressure, inflammation of the blood vessels, plaque buildup, which can lead to heart problems. All these negatives in turn further impair production of nitric oxide, putting us into a dangerous cycle. So really, it comes down to improving blood flow. We can't just supplement directly with nitric oxide either, as it's a gas that doesn't last more than a second or two. So from a food or supplement standpoint, what we have to take is a precursor which is another substance that is part of the chemical reaction that makes nitric oxide. The three main ones are L-arginine, citrulline, and nitrates, which are most commonly studied using beetroot juice. L-arginine is made in our bodies and can be found in high protein foods, with turkey and pork having the highest amounts. Then there are seeds like pumpkin and legumes, including chickpeas and lentils. It used to be the most popular supplement to boost nitric oxide, but over time it's been shown to be less effective, with one exception, when combined with phycnogenol, which is a pine bark extract, and it's been shown to improve erectile dysfunction. But from a sports performance standpoint, it doesn't appear to be the best choice. Now L-citrulline has shown positive results in reducing mild cases of ED, but just like L-arginine, not at the level of Viagra or Cialis. It's kind of like comparing cocaine to coffee. But let's face it, most of the time, we really just need a cup of coffee. Where citrulline really shines is in sports performance. Most often combined with mallet, which is an ionized form of malic acid found in foods like apples and watermelon. Interestingly enough, citrulline was first discovered in watermelon. Citrulline mallet is a common ingredient in pre-workouts advertising as being able to give you a skin-splitting pump. But more important than this, research has shown it can improve our performance during an individual weight training session, with one study having the participants able to perform 53% more repetitions in a fatigue state. Beetroot juice is the next one, and along with nitrates, it has been extensively studied in the realm of endurance sport performance. Nitrates are in beets that get converted into nitric oxide, with one study showing nitric oxide levels increasing by 21% in just 45 minutes after ingesting. Beets aren't the only vegetable high in nitrates. Some other examples would be spinach, lettuce, celery, and kohlrabi. If you're looking to improve your sports performance and you're not eating very many veggies, then that would be a good place to start. While beetroot juice hasn't been studied with regards to ED, it has shown increased nitric oxide, lower blood pressure, and improved blood flow. All these things help with erectile issues. But if you're on medication for high blood pressure, you should consult with your doctor first. I've used beetroot juice to improve my running and found it to be effective. One thing I should point out though, is that you shouldn't use mouthwash at least for 12 hours before taking beetroot juice. It kills the oral bacteria needed to convert nitrates into nitric oxide. At the beginning of the video, I talked about the dangerous cycle we end up in when our nitric oxide production is impaired, leading to further impairment. Well, we can reverse this cycle through exercise. I think most of us are aware that exercise along with proper recovery allows us to perform at a higher level in future workouts. One of the ways it does this is by increasing our nitric oxide production. One study I looked at showed improvements in as little as 10 weeks after exercise with moderate intensity for 30 minutes, three times a week. A meta-analysis I looked at connected the dots between aerobic exercise and how it increases nitric oxide to successfully treat erectile dysfunction. Regular progressive exercise can do more than just increase nitric oxide levels. It can boost our testosterone too. Watch this video next to find out how you can boost your testosterone level with exercise so we can keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.